day of March Madness. And for full coverage in the world of sports, we turn to Roy Wood Jr. and Ronnie Chang with another edition of I Apologize for Talking While You Were Talking. Apologize for talking while you're talking. Look, March Madness is here, Ronnie. Can you feel the excitement? No one is doing their job today. Everyone is watching basketball. If North Korea wanted to nuke us right now, this is the time to do it. No one would even notice. Kim Jong Un from downtown, and yes, he nuked downtown. Finally, some parking spaces. Ronnie, I know you filled out your bracket. Only question to ask: Who you got winning this year? Capitalism, Roy. Capitalism wins every year. <laughs> This whole tournament is just a bunch of kids working hard for no pay, wearing shoes made by kids working hard for no pay. Yeah. And speaking of shoes, all eyes are on Duke star Zion Williamson. Last month, he injured his knee when his sneaker exploded into a sandal, but thankfully, <laughs> he's back and he's got some new kicks. Duke Zion Williamson did not miss a beat, I think it's fair to say, when he returned to the court. But all eyes, of course, were on his sneakers. The nation's top college basketball player bounces back in new and improved shoes. Nike made sure of that. Nike sent their top people to China, and they came back with these super sneakers, strong enough to support Zion's massive size and superior play. Oh. So the kid busts his shoes and Nike make him some new ones on the spot. But when I split my Levi's, the guy at the store is all like, sir, your body shape doesn't support jeans. It's disrespectful. Well, to be fair, they're not wrong, Roy. You are built like a gummy bear. My question is, why did Zion trust Nike again? If you ask me, he should have signed with Crocs. I mean, they're comfortable and they already look like they've exploded. They do, they do. Speaking of unexpected explosions, Robert Kraft, he's the Patriots owner and a man who ironically looks like melted Kraft cheese. Last month, he got busted in a prostitution sting, but that might not stop him from getting to visit his biggest fan. Robert Kraft could make an appearance at the White House before he appears in court to face solicitation charges. According to Politico, President Trump wants Kraft to join his players at the White House to celebrate the Pats' Super Bowl victory. White House aides, at least, are concerned that Kraft's presence could turn a feel-good photo op into, well, an embarrassing media spectacle. Okay, now some people say it's wrong to let an old pervert into the White House. Mm -hmm. But since he already lives there, shouldn't he be allowed to invite Robert Kraft? Yeah, it's very true, Chen. Ronnie Chen's very true. But honestly, Ronnie, there's no way Trump is going to disinvite Robert Kraft. If anything, I bet you Trump is going to invite the masseuse, too. Talk about a job summit, am I right? No? Stop right. it. Stop it. In other NFL news, we got to talk about the big trade, man. The Giants sent their superstar wide receiver, Odell Beckham Jr., to the Cleveland Browns, and one Cleveland kid got so excited, he almost browned his pants. Giants football fans are still coming to grips with losing star wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Take a look at how fans in Cleveland are reacting. We got Odell! We got Odell! And that is 17-year-old Robert Stewart. He's running through the streets of suburban Shaker Heights. And of course, while Stewart was obviously excited, some neighbors weren't sure what was <laughs> going on, so they called 911. <laughs> 911, what is your emergency? I'm calling because there's someone up in front of our house. We just drove home and he's yelling and screaming and like flailing his arm. Got OBJ. I was so excited. I couldn't help myself. Okay, look, I love this. I love this kid. He's running through the neighborhood. We got Odell. Odell is coming. Odell is coming. He's like a football pro revere. It's great. I know. I wonder if this kid does this for all Cleveland sports, though, because those LeBron years must have been exhausting. We lost LeBron! We got LeBron back! Oh, we lost LeBron again! Honestly, it's just nice to see a 911 call go well. That shows how excited everyone is. Because that lady called the cops. She called the cops. Uh, 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 th 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 there's a black man screaming, we got Odell. And then the 911 operator's like, wait, what, we got Odell? Oh, we got Odell! We got Odell! We got Odell! Robert Jr., Ronnie Chang, everybody!